Hi, and welcome to another edition of CBU Conversations. I'm Jack Shannon, president of Christian Brothers University. And in today's edition, we're gonna learn a little bit more about our Office of Student Development and Campus Life. Joining us today is our LaSallean colleague, Wilson Phillips. Welcome, Wilson. Hey, President Shannon, thanks for having me today. I'm so happy to have you uh, join us today. Uh, you're a legend here at CBU, uh, someone that is a remarkable presence in our LaSallean community. And it's really great to have a chance to talk with you about the great work that you're doing. Uh, so let's first start with uh, generally this new unit called the Office of Student Development and Campus Life. It's a big portfolio of responsibilities that you and your colleagues have. Uh, you're very involved, obviously, with our students because we believe as LaSallians that we educate and develop not just in the classroom or in the lab, but on campus and throughout the community as well. Can you spend a little time telling us about what you do day in and day out in service to our community? Sure. I've had the privilege of being part of the student life team and now the student development and campus life team for about 12 years. And over the last uh, several years, I've served as the office manager. So basically, I'm the initial point of contact for our students and kind of connecting them to the needs that they have in our office. I also work with our residence life team, Alton Wade and Scott Bietti, to assist in our residence halls. And then over the last uh, several years, I've also been helping with student activities as well. So kind of in the jack of all trades in the office, kind of uh, pinch hitting when needed, uh, depending on various topics. So. Well, Wilson, in true uh, fashion as a LaSallean, but also knowing who you are, um, I think that you've understated exactly your role here on campus. Uh, you are the glue, but you're somebody who's a tremendous connector. I know no matter what time of day or night, you're there on behalf of our students. Um, you're there for them as individuals, but you also work with a number of groups here on campus. Can you talk briefly about who those groups are and what type of work you do with them? So currently this semester, I'm serving as the uh, advisor for the Panhellenic Council, which on this campus represents Zeta Tau Alpha and Alpha Z Delta. They have recruitment coming up September 16th through the 19th. It'll all be virtual. And so we're working through uh, all of those opportunities. But if there's anybody out there watching that's really interested in joining one of those two organizations, please feel free to reach out to me and get, get let's get connected so that we can make sure that you have an opportunity to join one of our free councils if you'd like to. Um, but primarily I'm working with Panhellenic and also helping with SGA and SAC occasionally, depending on the project. So since March, uh, our world has been turned upside down as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. It's affected all of us in very different ways. Here at CBU, we had to make that quick pivot back in March to going entirely remote in terms of our operations and our educational programs. Over the course of summer, you and many others on campus have prepared us for the fall semester and we're doing that in a hybrid fashion. We have some classes fully face to face, some online and then a, another group that's a mix of those two options. Um, you know, as true LaSallians, we take every crisis and we look at it not as a problem and not only as a challenge, but also as an opportunity to maybe do things differently. Uh, given the pandemic, how are you and your colleagues in student development and campus life doing things differently right now this semester? Well, absolutely. We're uh, using WebEx and Zoom and a whole bunch of different uh, virtual platforms to really execute our programming. Um, we have Zumba uh, that's being held virtually and um, also yoga that's being held virtually. And a lot of our campus organizations, our registered student organizations are using WebEx and Zoom uh, to do all of their activities. We know that there's kind of uh, a missing opportunity there with being face-to-face, -face, but we're finding that in a lot of ways, uh, our, our web platforms are helping to fill the void and helping us check on our students as well. Okay. So it's been a change for our students um, making that transition to more of our events being virtual, whether or not it's recruitment for fraternity or sorority, whether or not it's programming done by campus ministry or some other uh, office here on campus. For student development and campus life, 
how are you and your colleagues working with our students to make them aware of these programs and to make sure that they participate to the fullest extent possible? One of the most um, kind of present things that we're doing right now is we've rebranded our Instagram account. So we are now um, the student leadership account that was active during the summer has now transitioned to our student development campus life platform. And so we're really using that every day to, um, to post uh, check-ins and to post updates about what we're doing. We're also um, hosting chats with different um, club and organization presidents as well. So we're really trying to engage as much as we can virtually. So in terms of uh, your role, we talked about some of the things that you're doing with student organizations and working uh, as part of the student development and campus life team. You've taken on a, a lot of additional responsibilities with the recent transition of one of our colleagues, Johnny Beck, to go to be the director of the honors program. So I know that's kept you busy. Mm -hmm. But um, switching gears a bit, you've got another role here at CBU. You're Mr. Commencement. Uh, can you talk a little bit about you know, what you've been doing uh, this past year as we had to make that tough transition to not having commencement this year? Yeah, so we start meeting every every year in November, and as the, the pandemic kind of unfolded and we were looking at uh, what that, that looked like, we had hoped to gather together on uh, Labor Day weekend, but that also didn't come together. So we've really transitioned to kind of a plan to do something in uh, May of 2021 where we can celebrate uh, all the class, or both the class of 2020 and class of 2021 together. Um, and I believe that's also the year that we'll be celebrating our 150th anniversary as an institution. So I'm really looking forward to the opportunity to uh, bring everyone back uh, to campus that is able to join us. Um, you, you know, we, we have worked tirelessly to uh, make sure that um, we are doing everything that we can for our students and we know that there's uh, continual needs that they have and we want to continue to meet those uh, and to kind of exceed them as well. So we'd ask for your patience, but we'd also just appreciate your feedback and we hope that you'll be able to join us to uh, coming up in 2021 for sure. As you noted, 2021 will be a special year at CBU. It'll mark 150 years since the first group of brothers made their way down the Mississippi from Chicago after the Great Fire and created uh, our Christian Brothers community here in Memphis. Uh, it will be special. I know that for the class of 2020, it was a disappointing year uh, and we weren't able to celebrate their accomplishments in the way that we traditionally have in the past. But you know, the focus is going to be in 2021, as you noted, doing something special for them, as well as for the class of 2021 as well. Yeah. Uh, going back to student development and campus life for a moment, uh, we both know that evidence shows that the more engaged a student is during their first year of college studies, the more likely they are to persist and succeed and graduate on time. It's documented, it's quantitative. The data has proven this time and time again. So the work that you and your colleagues in Student Development Campus Life do is incredibly valuable to our campus community in so many ways, not the least of which is ensuring that our students stay here and persist and graduate. Can you talk a little bit about in the midst of the pandemic, particularly this year, what's the best way for our students to engage in the programming, the clubs, the organizations, the events that are offered by Student Development and Campus Life? Absolutely. The, the best thing to do is to, again, follow our social media channels uh, and to, to really watch the connection for uh, weekly updates. Uh, and then we'd also just encourage folks to uh, reach out to us via email. If there's clubs or, or organizations that they're interested in or uh, that they're, there's a club that they want to start, we're also really easy for uh, us to, it's really easy for us to connect folks um, to people of similar interests. So uh, the best thing that we can do is, is to know what you, what you want to connect with and let us help you facilitate that. Uh, we really want to make sure that our students are having uh, the most uh, beneficial and kind of optimal uh, campus experience. And so we know that we have to kind of pivot on a dime sometimes. 
and we want to be able to meet the needs of our students. So if there's anything that we can be doing for our students that we're not, please let us know and we'll, uh, we'll work hard to uh, connect folks. I mean, that's, that's what we are. We're a community and we're all about connection. And so we really want to focus on being that glue, being that connector for our students to other students. Wilson, I have to once again say that um, while we're all committed to the LaSallean mission of Christian Brothers University, uh, I honestly have to say that perhaps no one embodies that purpose and mission more than yourself. You are truly a connector. You're someone from the first day I interviewed for the position of president. Uh, I knew that you were someone special. You have consistently been there, not just for me, but more importantly for our students and our colleagues. So I want to thank you for that, as well as for joining us today on this edition of CBU Conversations. Once again, we've spent this time speaking with Wilson Phillips of our Office of Student Development and Campus Life about the work that's being done by he and his colleagues to create a more vibrant community for our students here at CBU. Uh, tune in again next week for the next edition of CBU Conversations. And until then, keep safe and stay well.